Hi everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. This is Marie again with the Scraps Journal. If you look at this thing, it has exploded. It's pretty much filled. I just have one page, I believe, that I want to tackle today. And I'm glad because it's always nice to finish a project. We are going to work today on this little page because everything else is pretty much done and what I said in a previous video is that I would like to try to create an image based on an abstraction and what I've done before if you've seen the videos is I glue papers to the background and marks and paints and then wait and see what surfaces to the front what kind of image and then we block the image and we paint it and we can come up with a little story just a little something like this little girl that was so cute and these birds also came as a result of an abstraction it's a very fun process and I know a lot of artists do this I mean I think like big artists um, I think I've seen them do this so let's see I'm going to use matte medium to adhere the papers and now that the journal is so full it's almost hard to work on this shouldn't be too bad because it's flat on this side if I had to work over here it's harder I'm going to just start gluing random pieces of paper and these are painted papers, scraps, and see what we can come up with. Now this is pretty atrocious looking, but it's just a base. Hopefully some images will come from this. Let's see if I can see anything now. I am going to add a little bit of gesso. I do not see anything. I am going to add some markings with pencils. Right now what I can kind of see is maybe two figures. I see like a, a face here with some kind of a hat, maybe the neck right here and a body, and over here above this face I see another what could be a face, it's a little long here but that can be fixed, make it into a little face. with funny hair or a hat. Um, and some kind of a outfit. 
almost reminds me of a religious, um, like a nun type of outfit right here. Maybe the covering as well could go. If we try to do that, it could go down here a little bit. Um, that's a possibility. I feel like tackling the faces first right now. I'm going to use the Jane Davenport acrylic paint. It is a paint for faces. I think it came in a set of three. It came with this one, and I want to say it came with a darker one, but I cannot find it. But let's try. So do you see the two people here? And there's still a lot of more work to do. Try to figure out what to do with her hair. I see a heart here with black, probably the black still below. And so I'm just going to highlight the heart. What's hard right now is that the book got so chunky that this is so heavy here, so big. And so it sticks out and it limits my ability to, to paint here comfortably. So I have to turn the book around a little bit. That's what's not fun when you're finishing a book if it gets heavy like this. And I prefer most of the time when I get to this point where it gets so chunky I prefer to work on a sheet of paper separately and then glue it on here after I'm done with it. it makes things easier but here I decided to go ahead and start and so we'll just keep going
Okay, so I have worked on her robe and I like it better. I added some blues to it along with the paints gray so it looks a little more vibrant, not as dark. And I added their little faces, just marked them, and now I'm going to paint around them. And I also got rid of this ginormous head that she had or helmet or whatever that was and I will do some hair I kind of mark the hair a little bit and I'll try to do the hair towards the end and see what happens This is what I have so far and I think they're looking pretty cute. I worked on the faces. I like them. She could use a little more work but I may just leave her, leave her like this. Um, not sure I want to keep messing with it for this type of journal. She's still pretty cute. I've added some pink over here to the heart. I want to work on her head. Her head is big compared to the other lady. But these are quirky, whimsical characters, so it could be all right. However, I do want to take a little bit off and work on the hair and her pink dress. And by then, we should be pretty much done. I think we have a pretty cute page. Let's see. So in the previous video, I had talked about how um, we were here, my husband and I, we felt like we've been in a desert, not understanding why God was so silent um, since we had some prayer requests and we haven't really experienced that before. And um, we try to keep up or actually I should say, keep a good attitude because that's what we are supposed to do. And um, it was hard waiting. And I have to say that, praise God, we have gotten an answer to prayer. And uh, we are very excited about it. Finally, after months and months of praying and waiting and not knowing why, what's happening. So I just want to encourage everybody, no matter how long it takes, God is in control. 
and you just lay your request to him and he will bring about what he needs to bring about in his time and his time is the perfect time not ours and so I've been you know meditating on this on some verses and how the Bible is always of course like I've said before encouraging us to wait and trust on God and um I came across the verse that says, give all your worries and cares to God because he cares about you. So that's just another another one of those um, reminders to, to give it all to him because he does care. And he comes through always. He comes through with an answer. It may not always be the answer we want, but um, he does. He comes through. And so I think that just gives us hope and strength to continue trusting and relying on him and um, that verse is 1 Peter 5 7 and of course another one that it's kind of like a command it says in Philippians 4 6 it says do not worry about anything instead pray about everything and so that is so important one thing that I'm also always reminded is no matter how dark it things seem to be at the time we are to rejoice and praise God in those dark times because he's there with us we may not feel like it sometimes we don't understand but he truly is in control and he's got us he has our backs and so that is so so important to always trust and rely on him and um rejoice rejoice no matter what we're going through because that's what's going to give us teach us perseverance and give us strength um, romans says we rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance perseverance character and character hope romans 5 3 4 and paul used to say that you know he rejoiced in his sufferings we didn't go through sufferings right now with my husband it was just a time of wondering and waiting and hoping and kind of anxiety filled and we have to trust in God but we have been we have gone through suffering before and I have experienced you know praising God is the answer to that praising him and it just invites him into our lives and he fills us with his spirit and and strengthens us and yeah looking back you know all those experiences bring us a strong character or builds in us a strong character you know it's part of the polishing process to become more like Christ it may not be easy to be a Christian and follow Christ it wasn't easy for him to do what he had to do so it's not easy for us either we will go through times of trial and tribulation but anyway praise God there's an answer to prayer and um, always try to praise him in the midst of the trial the, the suffering the, the problem whatever it is because he's always there
Okay, I am finally done. And I like it, it's cute. Um, I'm not quite sure what was said before. This is a different day, but I did finish her dress, gave her some little hands. And what I did as usual, I um, ended up highlighting the background texture with a pencil, a color pencil, a black one and um, highlighting the edges a little bit. I added these words that I found from a book. It says, never fear. I did work on her face a little more. I said I wasn't going to, but I felt like I better. And I think I'm done. And I am pretty pleased with it. It's good. It's a good thing. And so I think these words go perfectly with what I was saying before and as we're instructed to always wait on God, be courageous, trust in Him and not fear. Praise Him in the middle of the storm. So I hope you all enjoyed this and that you come back and see me next time. Maybe will be a, a flip through of this chunky journal. I am glad it's done and I can move on to another project. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye.